What's up guys, it's your boy Richie Reels, and today we'll be reviewing Versace, Poro May, Dylan Blue 2016 Aromatic Fougere Fragrance. So first off, I thought it smelled good, but after buying a sample, I realized I've smelled this before. And where did I smell that? Oh, my dad owns it, so this is his bottle. Then I realized, hmm, this kind of smells like my friend's old car. An old friend, too. Didn't, uh, didn't get along well after, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of a turnoff for me. So, between not wanting to smell exactly like my dad, and it kind of smelling like my old friend's car, I was like... I can't really buy this for myself, but I do think it does smell good, and I think you might be able to rock it. I do want to find a blue, though, so if anyone's got any uh, ideas what I should look at, I'm looking at um, Sauvage clones or Invictus clone mashups, kind of. I um, think that's the route I'm going to go. Uh, uh, blue de Chanel, there is Iconic Blue by Our Moth, and... I'm looking at that, but it's really expensive right now, so it might be, I might wait on the blues, but if the Sauvage, I, I've not really smelled Sauvage, I mean, I've people have worn it around me, but uh, I want to wear it and try it myself, so yeah, let me just get back onto the video though. Top notes are Calibrian Bergamot. Water notes, grapefruit, and fig leaf. So the bergamot and the grapefruit, um, this kind of just giving you a light citrus. Um, water notes, they're pretty light too. Um, nothing crazy there. I don't really like watery scents. So yeah, nothing crazy there. And then the fig leaf, oh, I think it gives it a sharp green scent. But there is other greenery involved, so it might not just be from the fig leaf, but that's kind of like what I've like researched might be a little sharp green there so the middle notes you have ambroxan black pepper patchouli violet leaf and papyrus so ambroxan supposed to have a metallic note um, I think this is kind of like what's giving it this fresh ozonic note I'm not really getting the metals um, but like a lot of the blue fragrances are supposed to have like this fresh ozonic note and I think that's kind of like where the Imbroxan plays in, um, maybe with the musk and the bass note too. Um, but yeah, then it's got black pepper, little fresh spiciness, can't smell the patchouli. Uh, the violet leaf is also supposed to be this like green fougere type smell. It's definitely not a barbershop fougere, um, but it's a sort of, you know, fougere meaning fern. Um, and the papyrus is kind of, it's like a green Middle Eastern Indian kind of um, scent. And I can kind of see that. Let me spray a little more on. I can definitely kind of see that. And uh, in the base notes you have incense. I'm not getting the incense. I was really hoping to get incense. Cause that's what I hear kind of like the blue day Chanel has and so that kind of disappointed me um, the musk is just I think that's adding to the freshness maybe this like ozonic blue scent that people are talking about and then the tonka bean I'm thinking this kind of trying to balance the freshness out that way it's not like overly fresh um, and but I can kind of smell it and it doesn't like to me it smells like it doesn't really fit in there too much same with the saffron kind of these darker scents I'm smelling like undertones of that and to me I just I think it might be there to balance the scent more but I'm not feeling it on that as much because there are some just little things where I'm like hmm you know this is a good scent but you know there's a lot that could be worked upon is what I'm saying um, it's definitely like I think I reviewed Hermes a while back and like that I was like not trying to boast about it because I didn't I like appreciated the scent but I did not like want to wear it right this I would kind of want to wear 
and I appreciate the scent. I'd wear this scent day or night, um, probably anywhere. Uh, it's just a versatile fragrance. That's what the blues are known for. Um, this to me, I don't think it's going to be a lady puller. I think it's kind of like an average Joe set. Maybe this is like the industry standard for like blue fragrances. It is pretty cheap and it does smell pretty good. So, I mean, cheap relatively to designers. Versace is usually cheaper, which is actually really nice because I'm sure they got some good scents. Um, like this is good. Well, they do got good scents, but nothing's just like really like I got to pounce on that yet, right? But everything's it's all different like it's not like they're all using the same DNA right so Versace um, I'm saying I'm thinking arrows or arrows flame might be the one for me uh, I am a club and type scent guy so there's that but yeah this Dylan blue it does smell good could be a problem if you're like I don't want a generic scent generic scent there's nothing wrong with generic scent right but some people they want to compliment pull or whatever this might be just more generic and just to smell good around people uh, but not like maybe offend I don't find it that offensive um, and I just think it's a pleasant scent so maybe give it a sample give it a go uh, if you liked what I talked about then this might be the one for you with the oh I didn't even so every time I write down like an overall like what I think it smells like so now I gotta think up one real quick so I want you to think light citrus light water notes and broxin fresh spicy um, slightly dark notes in the base sharp green notes fougere not barbershop for Jer. That's kind of what I want you to think. My bad. I totally forgot to write that in there. Um, oh, and the little Woody. Little Woody. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you later.